depressed, frustrated, sad, confused. You want answer. Let's talk. Give me a message sa page ko sa Philippine Dating Coach. And you can have one-on-one -on -one coaching with Coach Base, your dating coach, and psychologist. Just please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button. Well, Merry Christmas sa inyo lahat. And right this moment, I know na marami sa inyo ang broken because it's Christmas and it's kind of bad thing para sa, sa feeling ninyo na nangyayari yun. So, para sa akin, kahit gano ka bad ang situation, you need to be thankful that you're still alive and you're still doing well. So, I think it's just a mental health. Maraming tao na ino-overestimate nila mental health. Pero para sa akin, don't get me wrong if I'll get it underestimating mental health. Mental health is just a fear of something yung masaktan, pero it doesn't make sense at all. It's just because of your immaturity and childishness, kaya nagkakaroon ng mental health. So, saan ba nagkakaroon ng mental health problem? I'm talking about the problem dun sa mental health. nag start ang problem sa mental health when you feel threatened. Halos doon siya nag start Pero maraming parte yan. Pero isa ito sa mga pinakamalaking factor kung bakit ka nakakaramdam ng ganyang uri ng pain na parang sobra. ba? Diba? So you feel that way kasi nga you are too much thinking about that. So it affects your lifestyle lahat. So parang ang gusto mo na lamang ay mag-move on. So sa iba, parang ino overrate nila yung mental health na talagang nakakamatay siya or talagang ganun. But for me, it's just a matter of maturity. When you're mature enough, you can handle mental health problem by just actually thinking what is the best solution for this. And for your situation, what are you thinking right now? Are you thinking for the solution or are you just dwelling in the past? Kasi if you are going to dwell in the past, then you are going to think about the past. Yung lang ang iisipin mo o nakaraan at parang wala kang access sa kinabukasan. That is why I'm here to give you an advice kung paano ka nga ba magmumove on at kung paano nga ba ang tips para makamove on ka dun sa taong minamahal at iniibig mo na. So, yeah, I'm promoting for getting your ex back but it always depends on the situation. There are specific situations I don't think na kailangan mo pang ibalik ang ex mo. I think it's just a matter of stupidity na lang kung you, you are still going to pursue your ex kahit pupunta na tayo sa kawalan. And it's kind of like a sad business na parang i-start mo yung isang business na mamamatay din. Parang dun ko siya may compare So it's illogical for me na i-continue mo ang relationship na yan kung alam mo namang wala na rin kapupuntahan. But if you wanna know kung meron pa bang kapupuntahan ng isang relationship or not, I think you should have an advice. So, you can just get an appointment sa akin dyan sa Philippine Dating Coach for one-on-one -on -one coaching. However, our topic today is just how to get move on, di ba? Paano ka ba makakamove on sa iyong ex? At paano mo ma malalampasan ng sitwasyon na to? I think it is just a matter of logical solution. So, the number one logical solution na nakikita ko is just to watch YouTube. I know, there are a lot of coaches out there. It's not just me. Marami kayong pwedeng panoorin dyan. Pero huwag nyo nang panoorin yung mga getting your ex back tips. Mas maganda kung panoorin nyo nalang is move on tips. Kasi para hindi na kayo natitrigger at nagkakaroon pa ng excitement na gawin ng teknik na to just to get your ex back. Kasi baka naman i-apply nyo yung mga teknik na papanood nyo eh, hindi naman nga applicable sa sitwasyon nyo. And at the same time, kapag nanonood kayo ng mga YouTube video ng mga breakup coaches, nabibigyan nila kayo ng instructions proper guidance right way kung paano makapag-move on at mas napapabilis yung proseso nyo na imbis na nagduru sa kayo is at least meron kayong libangan na napapanood nyo at dyan kayo nabibigyan ng courage to continue your life and the second thing is get out of uh, get out from your comfort zone so umalis ka mula dyan sa comfort zone mo lumabas ka na kasi I think may mga bagay ka pang hindi na-explore sa sarili mo and maybe this is the right time to explore the things na hindi mo pa na-explore noon. In your mind, it's sad kasi wala na yung tao mahal mo. But I think this is not the end of the world. I don't believe na ang purpose mo sa buhay ay mabuhay para sa ex mo. Huwag kayong maniwala sa kantang, I was born for you. 
that's bullshit, okay? That's not even true at all. Pag naniniwala kayo sa mga ganyang uri ng kanta, talaga mapapahama kayo. So, the thing is, hindi ka pinanganak para dyan sa ex mo. I think you have a bigger purpose. I think you should look for that purpose kasi mas magandang tignan mo na lang yung purpose mo sa buhay kaysa bumalik-balik ka dito sa things about your ex. And explore yourself. Maghanap ka ng mga bago mong pagkakabalahan na tingin mong magagamit mo sa future at kapakipakinabang. And then the last thing na gusto kong isipin mo is kung hindi kayo, hindi kayo. Kung merong para sa'yo, yun yung para sa'yo. Ganun lang talaga. Kung alam mong tanggapin yung basic principle na pag hindi kayo, hindi kayo, doon ka magmamature. Alam ko, sobrang sobrang basic ng sinabi ko na kung kayo, kayo. Pero, yun lang yun. Huwag na tayo magpaligoy-ligoy pa. Kung kayo talaga, edi kayo talaga. Kung hindi kayo, edi hindi kayo. If you are mature enough, you will understand it. You need to embrace that truth. Ika nga, di ba? The truth will set you free. And maybe this is the right time to tell free. Pasko na. Anong regalo mo sa sarili mo? I think the best gift that you can give to yourself is just to give yourself a freedom. Kalayaan mula dyan sa breakup na yan. And that's all I can say. Thanks for watching.